Good morning, guys. Today is February 18, 2020, Tuesday. The markets are finally open, or about to be open anyways. After a three-day long weekend, President's Day was yesterday, and we have an interesting situation here. So we got a signal at the end of the day yesterday, or excuse me, on Friday, and now uh, the markets are going to open below that lower uh, mobile band, which is very interesting because at any point, if it closes below this lower uh, MOBO band, it's going to give us a sell signal. This is a very unique situation. Let's see where it goes. I'm not too inclined to get in, but let's see what happens. The markets are open here. You can see two conflicting signals because we're getting in on the open of the very next candle that we got the signal in but we're also getting a down signal because it's below the lower mobo band what about the cues same deal with with the cues there i went ahead and bought one call option of the 336 calls that expire in eight days oh gosh no Cancel order. I did not get in. 336 calls. Market. Okay, I got in this time. I got in at 296. This is a very interesting situation here. We'll see if we can get something going. I'm down a little bit. 291 by 294. Got in at 296. See, now that's down signal went away because now we're trading above that lower mobo band so i'm gonna let this run for a little bit and i actually need to get ready for my day job Alrighty guys, <clears throat> I have to take off uh, to work and it doesn't look like the markets are going anywhere right now, but I'm still holding on. I'm going to exit if it closes underneath this uh, lower MOBO band. I don't know if I showed you guys the actual trade that I got in, so I'm going to go ahead and show it here. I got in, I, know, I only bought one because of this very unique situation. I bought the February 26, 336 calls that expire in eight days, bought in at 296. You can see here, eh, I'm down. I'm down, not a whole lot, but I'm down and it seems like it's going to close underneath that mobile band. So we'll see what happens. We got about 34 minutes until the close of this candle. And I'm only going to get out if it closes underneath that lower mobile band. So stay tuned, guys. I am going to watch this from my desk job, from my desk at the office. So we'll see what happens. What's up guys? This is Giovanni from the Options Trading Channel. This is the end of the day. Quick recap of all of my trades today. I will show you all of my trades. I, I took a couple of trades, several trades to today. First of all, um, I want to talk to you about the SPY trade. Uh, the one that I actually lost money on. Let me show you that right now. You saw me execute that buy order at $2.96. I ended up selling at $2.64. That was a loss there of a little over 10%, not much, but I only bought one contract, mainly because of the unique situation that we got the signal at the end of the day on Friday and the markets gapped down this morning. And so we entered, um, but because it also closed underneath that lower mo MOBO band, we went ahead and, and closed out that position. And then this was on SPY, of course. And then check this guy, this thing out, guys. I got another signal 
on the queues and decided to trade it. And that is what you saw at the end of that video, uh, the execution of the sell order for the 10% gain that I basically ended up breaking even for for the entire day. And that's a big win. That's a not a big win, but that is a win in my book. As we know, the saying goes, the stat is something of that nature of 90% of traders end up losing money. Well, I ended up breaking even today and I'm okay with that. I bought two call options of the 234 calls that expire in 10 days, February 28th. Uh, the Qs bought two of them. You can see here the number two, two contracts. I bought them at 287, sold, sold at 315 for a quick 10% gain. That, that was the actual execution of what you saw right there at the end. I just let it go. I let it go. I recorded it. It all happened during my lunch break. On that second contract, um, I'm not necessarily upset about it, but I did see that it came back down uh, close to my original buy uh, price of 287. So I went ahead and sold at 289, but those calls actually ended up going back up to close to $3 range. And then check this out. I don't know, you know, we, we don't know what's going to happen at the open tomorrow, but uh, the market definitely went a lot higher there after market. So I don't know if I did the right move or not. Actually, no, no, I, I did do the right move. I did the right move because it got back down to my original buy order. And that's my rule. My rule is as soon as I buy, sell half at 10% gain, sell the other half uh, for bigger gains, or if it gets back down to my original uh, buy order, I am going to sell out. So overall today, I actually ended up even for the day. Exactly. I just lost commission fees of maybe four bucks. So that's a huge win in my book, mainly just because I didn't lose money. So there you get have it folks. I greatly appreciate your time, your love and support. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below, like and share my videos, comment down below what you traded today, what you made money on, what you lost money on. How can I help you become a better day trader? See you guys here on the very next trading video. Hoping it's a green trade. See you guys later.